So I can't braid like at all. So I put my hair in some braids and then I have like this little section of leave out there that I'm gonna put over the wig. I've already cut the weft off of the wig as you guys can see. And here are the clips on the inside and then I just went ahead and put some rollers on it. And I um, attached the, the band in the inside because the wig was given too big, okay? So I'm gonna take the flexi rods out of it. So I went ahead and took the rollers out of the, the wig. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the wig. The clips are all open and I'm going to just take it over my hair and I put those little braids there so that it can like hold on to it and then I'm going to just clamp it down and it is really secure and I like it because it just definitely covers up my sides but I'm going to go ahead and snap on the back as well and this is my first install of a wig y'all so bear with me so I'm clamping those clamps down one thing I really do like about the wig already is they give you that elastic band to put on the inside of the wig just in case it's too big so if you think you wear a large wig make sure you check because they sell like large I don't really recommend getting a large I don't know whose head is really that big unless you have like dreads in your hair or something like that that you want to cover up you just take my comb kind of just situate the wig it's really secure on my head like i said there's combs on the side there's combs right here and then there's a comb in the back and this wig is like a 250 percent density which i really really liked and i got it in like the natural black color because i like to wear my hair black anyway so I took that out and as you guys can see I left only a little bit of my hair out because I want to use that for my leave out and it literally took two seconds now ever since I put the wig on I just feel like I'm never going back to a sewing because for what one thing I really do like about the wig is they have like the elastic band in the back so if the wig is too big you can fix it to kind of like push it down a little bit closer to your head which I really really do like I do recommend that you really measure your head to make sure you know what cap size you're going to get for your u-part wig because they do run a little big if you ask me and i have a pretty big head in my opinion and the wig was kind of big so this is how it looks right and oh my gosh so i think i really do recommend this for the girls who are like still on the fence about the whole wig thing i know it's 2022 and wigs are everything for the girls but i'm just now diving into it i was afraid at first i ain't even gonna lie to you the way the women do the wigs now it's like they have transformed the way wigs look they're not as you know wiggy as they used to be this wig was affordable in my opinion because when i go get my sew-ins done or if i were to go and get a quick weave it's gonna run me about the same amount of money it was to get this hair so and i'm able to take it off put it on wash it bleach it cut it do whatever i want to do over and over again just be on the lookout for more wig content for me hopefully you know because sometimes your girl be wanting to wear her natural hair, but I don't know. It's just gotten so hot outside. I'm just really not interested in doing my own hair right now. I could wear wigs. I don't mind. Or I could switch it up and not wear a wig tomorrow and it's okay. So this is feeling really good to me. I haven't dyed it yet, but I do feel like it does match my hair texture as well as the color of my hair. I know I love the black hair. So yeah, isn't this pretty? I do want to kind of show y'all the back. Uh, so this hair is giving me life y'all let me know what you think about this hair in the comments down below i will leave a link to this hair they have a bunch of different lengths a bunch of different colors textures and wig cap sizes v parts u parts you name it as well as a discount code so if you want to save a few coins while you get your wig it's coming sis so if you are wondering if you should join the wig life I'm here to say you should, especially if you're a woman who wants to protect your hair. If you're working out, have fun and not worry. Spend your coin on one good wig and I promise you'll be okay. This just gives me like a quick change up without having to do all the work. And that's what I'm really looking forward to. Especially in my 30s, y'all. I just want to have fun, live life, and switch it up as much as I can with these wigs. So I appreciate y'all and thank you so much for watching. Peace.